What's going on guys? Happy Friday. This is the Think Up Podcast coming to you guys today. I really enjoyed you guys. I really appreciate your comments. I appreciate you guys supporting. I want to get right into it guys. Again, this is Friday episode number 19. I thought it was number 18. Number 19, the Think Up Podcast. I really hope these episodes are blessing you. The goal is to help you become the highest expression of who God is calling you to be. Uh, And on this episode, most likely I'm going to break it up into different parts. It's really uh, important to me. I think it's really needed right now in our culture today because we are bombarded by so much information. I mean, you can Google anything. You look in your Instagram feed, YouTube. You look at Facebook. You got people giving you information. How can you determine what information is worthy, information is valuable, information is crap we just don't know so this episode I pray it bless you because I'm going to be talking about understanding I believe understanding is the foundation of all truth Uh, you lead to truth through understanding so it's a principle that is in the book that I put that I uh, quote rather Uh, the quote says uh, knowledge can only take you as far as your understanding can sustain you and I came up with that probably about a year ago because I was just thinking about how it was like knowledge was on one side and truth was on the other side. And I drew a little bridge and the bridge represented understanding and understanding should be the end result of all information. Understanding should be the end result of all information. So I got this little graph here because I'm like a visual thinker and I kind of I came up with this actually today, uh, this morning, rather Uh so I was thinking about like the learning process. So the goal, of course, is to get to truth. Uh, and you know, so the truth about how to build your business, the truth about, uh, uh, you can make that anything. I'm just gonna leave it truth, you know. Uh, and I pray, again, my goal is to help you become the highest expression of who God is calling you to become. So you can just put that where you want to put it as far as truth. But the end result, uh, pretty much truth is just you being totally informed to make the best decision for you and your family. So, and then right here, so this is, I'm calling this like a starting line. So when you beginning to learn something, the Bible says, uh, get understanding. All you're getting, get understanding. That's Proverbs, the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. So the word of God is telling us that it's very important to get understanding. So when you're getting information, when you're getting knowledge, I got these different things of information here. You can get uh, information from your failures. You can get information from rumors, from different people's biases, from opinions. You can get information from research. You can get information from research and facts. And you get information of different types of knowledge if you Google it. So I wrote this because, and this is kind of like the path of you leading to truth, supposed to represent... uh, And the goal is to get understanding. So what understanding are you getting from your failures? You're going to get to truth. You're going to go to truth when you're able to get on the other side of your failure and you get understanding from that failure. That's very important. Uh, and, And my journey as being an author Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just writing, you know, just writing my thoughts. I began to become a better writer and begin to speak my points more clearly as I gained understanding on how to communicate a point, how to set up, you know, my thought process and everything and how to structure my sentences. Now, when you're going from failure, using failure, for example, failure is teaching you something. You know, I think John Maxwell got a book called Failing Forward. Failure is teaching you something. Don't allow failure. You failed in something and you don't allow what you failed in to get understanding and why you fail. It takes more time and energy to get understanding in anything. The same thing with rumors. You hear people, he say, she say, that person said, you know, a lot of it is a bunch of crap. But what have what understanding have you gained from rumors? I know for me, the understanding I gain is not even to listen to them. So I don't even waste my time with rumors, but that's my understanding. So when I hear rumors, I don't even waste my time on it, but it's because I understand that it leads to nowhere. So since I understand majority of the time, nothing good comes from rumors. I don't even, you know, I don't even worry about rumors. I don't listen to rumors. 
different people's biases. You know, people, you know, tell you you need to do this or that, and they're strong in their opinion, and a lot of times they're skewed in their facts, and they are leaning towards one particular truth, but not looking at the overall truth. What understanding do you gain from people's biases? What understanding are you gaining from yours, knowing that you got some? People's opinions. What understanding are you getting from opinions? My whole point is whatever knowledge you're getting, make sure you get to understanding. Get to the other side, which is understanding. You walking up to truth from understanding what is coming from that. I really believe, uh, you know, there's so much information coming at us. If your goal is not going to be to understand what your with the information, it's best to not even waste your time. I never forget during the pandemic. Uh, hold on, I got my little music playing. A little commercial came up. During the pandemic, there's a lot of conspiracy theories and, di and different things of that nature. And I remember uh, one of my... Uh, Family members, you know, sent me a video talking about, you know, the world going to end on like April 16th. There's going to be a gas, uh, you know, shot out and hundreds of thousands of people going to die on April 16th. It was a, somebody prophesied it or something like that. And uh, I got frustrated and I, I and I told this person, do not send me any type of information about conspiracy theories until you personally research what they're talking about for a minimum two hours. And I was only saying, anybody can say whatever. And that's what's wrong, I believe, even in our culture, especially in the African-American community. There was one brother I was listening to, I forgot his name, he was a pastor. And he was just talking about how it's so easy to get us to move to the left or to the right based off of surface knowledge. We need to get to the bottom of that. And that's why I want to make this, you know, talk about understanding, because when your goal is to understand something, you listen more intently. You have a process. You develop a process if you don't got a process. It's not about knowing everything. It's not about trying to be a know-it-all. But with billions and billions and billions and billions of pages of information, you can't learn everything. What's important is, what is God putting on your heart to understand so you can make sure that you being a provider for your family, you're leading your family, you're being the man or the woman God is calling you to be. There's things you must understand. The word of God tells us in Proverbs 4, 7, and all you're getting, get understanding. Now, it's another scripture that may sound contradictory, but it's really not. And it's uh, Proverbs, the third chapter and the fifth verse. And it says, trust in the Lord. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on your own understanding. So the word of God is telling us not to lean in your own understanding here. We had a Proverbs 4, 7, it says, you know, get understanding. So what I personally believe what the word of God is said in Proverbs 3, 5 is don't allow what you understand to be the only uh, to be the only truth or the only information that you use to make decisions. Be prayerful about it. Seek God. Seek godly counsel. Seek, you know, people who really care about you and your family. You know, consult with them. Don't make decisions based on what you think you figured out. Because, you know, as the word of God also tells about, about the fool, the fool thinks he knows everything. So the only point I'm making, guys, is whatever information is coming to you, whether it's knowledge, facts, whether through research, opinions, people's biases, rumors, or even your failures, you can definitely learn something that can help you, that benefits you, to lead you to truth, but you have to mine it. You have to go through all of the crap of it, and that's the hard part. Just like I was giving an example about the conspiracy theory. I knew I wasn't going to waste a second of my time to research it, so I didn't even bother even entertaining it. So that can be a point that can help you when it comes to a lot of information that's being given. If you know you're not going to spend the time to research it to get a good understanding, don't even waste your time and listen to it. That's a very good uh, you know, principle to live by because, you know, you can learn you can learn anything now. I mean, you know, the landscape is changing, especially with these new apps. It's a new app called Clubhouse, man. That app is awesome, man. It's a lot of information being given on that app. But what I had to learn real fast is, okay, I need to stick in the areas that I'm trying to get understanding in because you, man, they, they're, they're dropping so much knowledge and information that can really move your business and you forward emotionally, spiritually, that you got to be focused. So that's why I want to talk to you guys about understanding because it'll help you get focused. 
When you're trying to be all God is calling you to be, this is not a season to be going, you know, listening to this, doing that, trying to do things that appear good or, you know, uh, you know, like right now it's the big entrepreneurial thing. Everybody trying to be an entrepreneur. You know, if God put it in your heart, that's a blessing. But don't try to be an entrepreneur just because it's the newest thing out. You know, like don't they're like a trend, like be who God calling you to be. If that's an entrepreneur, fine. But don't shift and try to be this or that just because it's culturally acceptable or because that's cool or sexy. It's you know, don't do that. Be who you are, who God is calling you to be. OK, there's one more thing I want to cover. Uh, the next thing I want to cover is another quote. And uh, I think I already said it, but I'm saying it again. The end result of all information should be understanding and understanding leads to truth. No, I didn't say that. The end result of information, the end result of information should be understanding and understanding leads to truth. It's so important, guys, that you get to the truth. The word of God says, and all I get it, get understanding. Get to the truth. The word of God wants us to be informed. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Jesus loves us and he wants you to be informed. But you got to, number one, have a desire to want to be informed. You have to also, you know, have a, a spirit to want to learn. Uh, that's very important. So, guys, just want to cover that. I may come with a part two because there's some more information I had. I'm trying to keep my video short. I really appreciate you guys support, guys. If you, if you like this information, if it's making sense to you, please just email me because I've really been thinking a lot about understanding about how important it is as it relates to knowledge. Uh, or is it more important? And what do you think? Just, you know, you can comment. You can uh, send me a message. Or email me, robertlaurie 3 at gmail.com. But for me, I learned that understanding is like the foundation. Understanding is the path that leads you to truth. You can have knowledge. You can have facts. But... Your understanding is going to keep you going in the right direction. That's why the word of God says, and all you're getting, get understanding. And let me just leave out with this last scripture. I think there's one more thing I want to cover. Uh, I just want to go. Uh, it was one more thing. And uh, yeah, I did cover it. Uh, yeah, and that was the, uh, yeah, the Proverbs 4-7. So I had two scriptures. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and all that get and get understanding. This is the season, guys, to get understanding. You know, we're trying to become all God is calling us to be. That's why I created this podcast. You know, I want to be all God is calling me to be. And I'm learning that I have to grow in my understanding. It takes more effort. It takes you praying. It takes you allow, having a heart to want to receive. But let's grow in our understanding so we won't be tossed to and fro. So, we won't hear something and then just automatically react. When you have a goal to get understanding, you won't always just respond and react to information. When you know who you are, you understand who you are. So therefore, when somebody says or try to curse you up, you don't have to react. Just be. Be all God calling you to be. You don't have to respond trying to prove yourself. It's so important, guys. Let's get understanding. 2021 is going to be a great year. Let's allow God to have his way in our lives. Thank you guys for listening. Again, the book is going to be coming out. Think up to get up. How to break free from destructive ways of thinking. March 22nd, 2021 It's going to be available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble's website. If you want a pre-order, please uh, email me, robertlaurie 3 at gmail.com. I pray this content is blessing you and have yourself a great Friday. Thank you.